Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. Now as you can see there is now a dart board in the background. I could take it down, I just couldn't be bothered today. But uh, my makeup room is gradually being taken over by the boys. <laughs> anyway, today I am bringing you this new lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury called Nude Romance. And I thought I would do a quick first impression of it. Now I'm deliberately not going to put on any lip liner because um, that will affect the colour. But I have put on some lip oil because I did really slaughter my lips yesterday trying on all those reds. It wasn't actually most of the bullet ones. It was trying on the lip stain at the end and that one with a lot of fragrance in it that really after doing all the others and wiping it off with that um, very rough kitchen towel um, didn't really help my lips much but they're very smooth and pouty today so anyway so this is the lipstick and as you can see it comes in another beautiful case with diamantes on very very pretty and I'm presuming that yet again this is yes refillable so I haven't seen a lot of these this one and the last one were refillable, the um, the red one, but I haven't seen them selling the refills. But anyway, so this is the shade. So Charlotte claimed, you can see it's got this lovely, um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little heart on it. It's very cute. Um, Charlotte claims that this colour will suit everyone. And that's the shade. Now, I could go on probably for a long time doing swatch comparisons. And I know Rebecca's been doing quite a few. But we know that Charlotte brings out a lot of tawny nude kind of shades. Um, and there'll be a lot that's very like it. Now, I've heard that it is the kissing version or that Rebecca feels it's the, the kissing version of Super U. Now, I didn't get Super U because I didn't want it. It was Matte Revolution. So I'm really pleased that I got this because this is kissing formula. And if it is Super U, but in the kissing formula, then I'm really glad that's the one I didn't get. Okay, let me put it on and I'll show you. So, there it is. I'm just going to move my mirror out the way so that you can get a bit more light on it. It's a lovely shade, a very good nude shade that should suit most people, actually. I think she's right. Now, I'm going to just put it on the palest part of my arm and show you what that looks like. Now, when I swatch it on the palest part of my arm it looks very brown and when i take a picture of it it looks very brown but actually it doesn't look quite so brown up in real life um but it is a kind of it's got an orange undertone to it now as i said i could go on and do swatch comparisons for days you know i'm thinking supermodel i'm thinking of a lot of the super the um super sexy wasn't quite the same but then you got super 90s you've got the super model super model i think it's very like super model um i will show you super model and the other one that has really really that i looked at and thought it really does remind me of it is the one that was called confession and i for those of you that watch my instagram you'll have seen that i've put up a comparison swatch I'm just going to show you that one now, um, Confession. I've gone and put it down somewhere. I'll be right back. Okay, Confession was a kissing formula as well. And it was released long before I, I actually started to know about Charlotte Tilbury. But fortunately, I, people raved about it and said, would she bring it back? Would she bring it back? And then it came back in a lip archive set um, a couple of years ago. And I got it in the lip archive set. But it does remind me a lot of that. But the 
Confession has got a, a quite a bit more pink and it's a bit of a lighter version, but it looks very similar on the lips. But the other one it really does remind me of is Supermodel, which is one of my favourites because it is my perfect nude for my colouring. And I'm just going to get that and I'll be right back. Okay, let's have a look at Supermodel. So that is the new one there. And that one is Confession. So I'm going to put Supermodel above it so we can look at it against... Right, okay, so Supermodel's got more pink in it. So this is, is probably going to be more like something like Super 90s. We could do, as I said, with Charlotte's lipsticks, I could name so many lipsticks it could be close to. Very Victoria, Super 90s, Birkin Brown, um, there, there are so many because that's what she does, is kind of tawny nudes. Um, if you've got any specific requests, um, do let me know. Um, but as I said, I, again, I've got another one here called American Sweetheart and English Beauty. These ones that came out on special edition. I could literally have an armful of lipsticks that look similar to this. But they've all got subtle differences. Um, and I do think that Charlotte is very clever. Now, not everybody suits this kind of brownie orange undertone. And I think that that is what a lot of Charlotte's critics have launched at Charlotte is, I don't suit the brownie undertones, the tawny things. I need a cool toned lipstick. If you like cool toned lipsticks, you're not going to like this. If you love them, you've probably already got about six or seven of these. But I do think that this is going to be one of those that I should wear a lot, just like Supermodel. Now, the, the thing about Supermodel, although it is one of my favourites because it is the closest one to my actual nude lip, which does have a pinkish undertone to it, um, the thing about Supermodel is it's matte revolution. And I've always preferred the kissing formula. So I think I might actually go for this more now because although it's not got that pink background that my nude lip has, I think because of the formula, it kind of makes up for it. So if you can see what I mean, this has got the pink background, but it's the matte revolution formula. And you can't see on the camera, but this is creamier. So it's just going to be very, very close to a lot of people's natural lip shades. Certainly if you're medium skin tone, if you're very, very fair, you may have very, very pinkish undertones to your lips. Um, but I, I just think it would suit a lot of people. And I think... If you're not sure about this, I definitely think it's one you won't regret. It's one of those that you'll put on. And if you're, if you're wanting a lipstick to feel glammed up at night, then no. But if you're wanting a good staple to put in your handbag, a good one that you don't really have to think about, it's going to go with everything you're wearing and it's going to suit you, then this is probably a really good buy and I'm holding up the wrong one, but you know what I mean. The one that I've just bought, which is Nude Romance. And look, even the sticker's got a little heart on it. How cute is that? Okay, but I am wondering, is she going to start doing refills for these? Because she's making them refillable, but she's not bringing out the refills. So the last one she bought out that was refillable was this one, which I have out, which is Lucky Cherry. And that's refillable too. But where are the refills? Where are they? Okay, anyway, now, um, if you want to stay tuned, um, do stay tuned because I'll probably actually do it in another quick video and then you'll get two videos out of me. How about that? But um, coming up very shortly will be a very short video on this by Terry 
concealer hyaluronic concealer okay so i'll see you all soon i hope you've enjoyed looking at this and i'll leave you with the swatches of um those three lipsticks all right take care have a lovely day Bye bye Mwah.